Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Rebeprazole. Its brand name is Perriot. Now before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how Rebeprazole works, we'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Rebeprazole, we'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does Rebeprazole work? Well, Rebeprazole is a gastric proton pump inhibitor, or a PPI. It suppresses gastric acid secretion by inhibiting the gastric hydrogen potassium ATPase pump at the secretory surface of parietal cells. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we often see it used in gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD. It may be used to treat gastric hypersecretion, as well as in the treatment of a duodenal ulcer. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe Rebeprazole, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to Rebeprazole or to any other component of the formulation. As well, this medication should not be used with wilpivirine-containing products. Now what about dosing with Rebeprazole? So in the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, we would typically see 20 mg orally once daily for up to 4 weeks. In the treatment of gastric hypersecretion, the initial dose would be 60 mg orally once daily, and doses up to 100 mg per day, or 60 mg twice daily, have been used in this setting. In the treatment of a duodenal ulcer, we may see 20 mg orally once daily after the morning meal for up to 4 weeks. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using Rebeprazole, so we'll go over some of those here now. 3.5-5% to of patients may experience abdominal pain, while up to 5% may experience diarrhea. Nausea seems to happen 4.5% of the time, and vomiting seems to happen 3.5% of the time. Up to 10% of patients may experience a headache. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be Steven Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis, or interstitial nephritis. That's all we're going to talk about today with Rebeprazole or Perriot. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. So for today, take care.